Hey guys, welcome back. It's Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, who wouldn't like to see a new action show with Sylvester Stallone and Dolph Lundgren? Disney. Disney. Disney does not want this testosterone fest uh, to, to grace their lineup, apparently. But they'll do Indiana Jones 5. With a female lead? Well, no, we'll get there. <laughs> I'm just saying, because people say it's because they're older, well... It's not because they're older. It's not because they're older. It's not because they're older, guys. It's not because they're older. According to Deadline, uh, Sylvester Stallone and Dolph Lundgren are getting back together to pitch a new action show, which I would be extremely excited for. Yeah, that'd be awesome. They're getting into a bidding war. Everybody wants this show except Disney, ABC. ABC didn't even look at it. And the reason they gave them that they didn't even look at it is they are uh, only looking at female focused shows they wouldn't even look at the pitch so they wouldn't even look at it because they're focused on female just because it's female focused doesn't make it good just because it's male focused doesn't make it good either but what i'm saying is that's really short-sighted that's very short-sighted and you know we're, we're seeing a pattern though and again you know people said uh, we had some people comment and said we should be the uh the anti-disney channel we're not anti-disney but we're not we actually like you know the parks <laughs> <laughs> we like the theme parks i like that's the merchandise that. i like the merchandise yeah but uh, yeah, so we're going to talk about this in this video. Please subscribe if you guys have not subscribed already to the channel. We talk about pop culture news views. We have occasional rants. This might lead to a rant. Uh, we don't know where it's going to go. It's probably going to lead to a rant. So uh, thank you so much for those of you, to those of you who have subscribed. It's, it's helped the channel grow tremendously in the last month or two. You guys are awesome. So is Sil Sylvester Stallone and so is Dolph Lundgren and they need to be on TV again. Yeah, and you know, I was just going to say, Everybody keeps bringing up when they point this, these things out about they're, they're like they're focusing all this female stuff, even if, whether it's good or bad, that, just doing it, that there's an agenda. And everybody's like, no, there's no agenda. No, there's no agenda. No, there's no agenda. According to Disney, there's an agenda. So, yeah, they were pitching the show. And I mean, everybody would be like, oh, my God, we've got the, you know, the headliners of freaking Rocky and, and uh, you know, He-Man. And we've got, you know, they were in Rocky Four together. And then we got, uh, you know, so it's... The expendables it's, and stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, this is like a win, right? This is a slam dunk. Well, no, apparently not. The show starring Lundgren and executive produced by Stallone hails from Tony Krantz's Flame Ventures. According to the sources, the project was sold in the room at all three broadcast networks it was pitched to this week, Fox... CBS and NBC, and also drew interest, interest from two streamers, Netflix and Apple. Because of ABC's renewed focus on female-focused fare, the network was the only one of the big four not even to hear the pitch. Okay, you know what? Here, here Disney, um, I, I don't want to see you go down the tubes, and if you keep behaving this way, you're going to, and then you're going to blame it all on men. But you, this isn't a good thing. I mean, it really isn't. I'm not saying don't go and do some female-focused shows. I'm not saying that. But if you're not, if you're gonna pass on something that could be awesome because it's not led by a woman, then you got some problems. And that's that, that's not what diversity means either. Just saying. Yeah. So I, apparently Stallone. I'm, I'm reading here. Stallone's not actually gonna be in it. He's gonna be a producer on it. it. Was gonna star Dolph Lundgren. Right. That's okay. I'm totally okay with that. I'd be down with that. But you think this would be like, I mean, everybody would want this. Well, apparently they all do. They all do, except for Disney. Disney doesn't want it. So, okay, this is coming from Bounding in the Comics. It's actually how I found out about this, and I went out and found the original article. But, uh, yeah. So, the report comes from Deadline, so that Disney-owned ABC was focusing on female-focused fare. We do see this with Star Wars. We see it now with Marvel where they're kind well, of they're hiring people who really aren't qualified to do the job but because they're women because apparently if you can get a gig at disney if you have boobs boobs are better place else but at disney apparently I, are you allowed to talk about boobs i don't really care i don't know not all women have boobs and some men do that's true that is true so if I was being fair, that's true. And some women had to lose their cancer or things like that. So I wasn't yeah. meaning it to be insensitive. I'm just saying, traditionally, women have boobs. And apparently, it doesn't matter what your qualifications are. Other than that, you can do movies that bomb on Rotten Tomatoes and don't do well in the box office and get put in charge of big Marvel headliners. Just because you got boobs. Yeah. Or had boobs. And you're female. Yeah. So, yeah, there's, you know, there's an issue going on with Disney where, I, you know, again, look, I have absolutely no problem with there being more female focused entertainment, but neither you, do I. But if you're flat out saying you're not even going to listen to a pitch because it's got a, a, a male lead. Well, this 
but at the same time saying there's no agenda. There's no agenda, but we only want shows with women. So that makes me, that does worry me about Indiana Jones. I think it's going to have a woman. Because they're supposed to be filming that soon. So they're going to make Indiana Jones, India Jones, and you know. <laughs> Indiana Joan. <laughs> Indiana Joan, there you go. Indiana Joan. So the International, it's called the International. It's written by uh, Ken Sanzel. Stars Lundgren as a secret operative for the UN's Department of Safety and Security. Sounds pretty badass. According to Deadline, Lundgren's character is described as the UN's secret special agent, a one-man SWAT team, and hostage negotiator. This sounds pretty cool. So, uh, Stallone will... Because man. Yeah, I know, right? Well, it might be pretty... It might be Actually, like, I think it sounds pretty cool, too. I'm yeah, I mean, you. he's freaking... He's I'm freaking just picking on right? you because that's what they're going to say. So, Stallone will executive produce alongside his partner at, Bal Bal at Balboa Productions. Mm -hmm. uh, they're also joined by Greg Baumgarten of Zero Craig. Gravity. Craig, I'm sorry. Greg, Craig. Craig. All these men look the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Stallone confirmed the show on Instagram writing... Myself and Balboa Productions are so proud to announce this incredible new show called The International. It's going to be fantastic. Working with my old hard-punching friend, Dolph Lundgren. He also promised more info in the future. So everybody's excited about this, right? Uh, just not Disney. So this was just very a very weird thing that they actually had to put in parentheses in Deadline. Like, everybody wants a show, even Apple, Netflix, except Disney, because... They could have just said they declined to look at it for whatever reason, but they basically said no because it's got a guy. Well, I think what's going on, the they're lead. thinking it's starting to get ridiculous too, which is why they mentioned Otherwise, they would have just glossed over it, but they didn't. They mentioned why specifically. I think people are just getting really sick of it. It's like, this is stupid. If it's a good show, it's a good show. It shouldn't matter if it's female-led or male-led. If there's a great female-led show, it should have a chance just as much as there's a show mail letter or mixed cast or whatever i think the fact that there, there's not enough uh vagina that they won't run it <laughs> oh my god i can see i can see them like grading papers right they're looking at the pitches they're going through the slush pile like crap 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 hey this looks pretty good but not enough vagina and they just write in red letters on the pitch not enough vajayjay well, that, am i lying at the end of the day they want female so if it doesn't have enough vagina they won't take they won't take it I'm sure they're not going to like that I use vagina to describe Disney, but, you know. Um, Dolph Lundgren's just not a big enough pussy for Disney. I'm just saying. Um, you know what I mean? If that's the case, that's wrong. And the thing is, like, you know, and and, and and it's still mad about the Black Widow thing, which you go watch another video on that. But the woman really is not qualified to do it, other than the fact that she's a woman. Yeah, we did a video earlier today. Go check that out where we talk about that. Jack Schaefer who's put in charge of Black Widow and WandaVision, and her credits are not stellar at all. And immediately, immediately, she uses her newfound fame to go on about her political beliefs. And how it's going to be not like the comics because... She doesn't like the comics because they're they're too too toxic. Well, she never watched superhero movies or liked them till she, she, got, till them. she got to write them. Till she got to write them. And now them. she cares because it's, it's not even about superheroes. Now it's about how she's going to change them. So, but here again, it keeps, but it gets me is it keeps saying over and over, there's no agenda. What are you talking about? There's no agenda. Marvel just announced that it's going to be really diverse going forward, but there's no agenda. ABC says they're not going to even look at, a, at this show pitch because it's not enough vaginas. I'm sorry, women. Um, but there's no agenda. No, no, there's no agenda. I just think it's funny. A woman actually wrote this article. Uh, she's the co-editor in chief of uh deadline right and TV, yeah, the of TV the tv section. section and she actually put in parentheses you know abc is just like yeah we're only looking at shows with women well because what you know why because women are sick of it too the women are just i, I mean i as a woman i'm sick of it i'm like i just want to see good shows i whether they're male-led or female-led i really don't care whether they're white or not don't care whether they're straight or not don't care what i want to see are just good shows that are done well and it's about strong uh, strong characters and about just a good story and they, they might happen to be you know woman or they might happen to be lgbtq or they might happen to be you know a different religion or something you know what i'm saying they, that, that's not the main focus of the whole damn show whether or not my character is a has you know i won't say it again has uh, a female anatomy or not shouldn't determine whether a show is good just because she got she's it's a woman doesn't make it good nor does it make it automatically good because it's a man you know what i'm saying yeah but i think i think a show produced by sylvester stallone featuring dolph lundgren blowing shit up would be pretty good no i'm not saying i'm agreeing with you what yeah. i'm saying is basing it on what gender you are 
is sexism. And basing it on the fact that you know they want only want they only want women female focused shows. Yeah. It's sexism. Now it's really interesting though that Netflix put a bid in for this show because Netflix uh, they're can, screaming they have no money. Yeah, one they have no money, but they can afford Stallone and Lundgren. But uh, two, you know, I did a video yesterday talking about how there was a lot of backlash because a lot of the shows they canceled, over half the shows they canceled were uh, directed or produced or written by women. Was it half? I thought it was half. It was half, you know, like so in the like, real world. You know, like real world, half. Right, but, but because half of the shows written were written by women, that was that was sexism because they canceled those shows even though they did not perform. Even though Netflix has other shows written and produced by women that are doing really well. So it's either glass is half full or the glass is half sexist. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm just saying. I mean, because it's like, it's, it's 50-50, is half sexist. but it's all, it's all sexism. Yeah. It's like, but there were, there were shows that were canceled that weren't written by women. I'm just saying, just because someone's a woman doesn't make it good. Just because somebody's not a woman doesn't make it good. You know what I mean? It just, let the, let the work speak for itself. It's a good show. It's a good show. But it doesn't matter what gender. Yeah, so, yeah, Disney's out of the running, but it looks like there's going to be a bidding war between Fox, CBS, NBC, Netflix, and Apple. Well, now you know who to watch and who not to watch. Right. I mean, I hate to say it, so, but... This is not coming to Disney+. Plus. This is not coming to ABC+. Uh, I, I'm I'm thinking it's probably going to wind up on oh I don't know I don't know if Netflix has deep enough pockets for this they get the uh, HBO work. Max isn't in there NBC maybe oh NBC because it's not going to be the HBO that'd be HBO. Comcast yeah, yeah. they did stick it to Disney just they'd to say, do hey, it. We got... they have more money to stick at Disney Disney already put themselves in the hole so bad it's not even funny we're gonna do that as a video hopefully later this week what, talk Disney's about hole? Disney's hole we're gonna talk about the money hole where, where why everybody thinks Disney has infinite money and why they probably do not based on some of their expenses and um yeah so they probably couldn't afford these these guys now well it's funny because this is gonna get all mad at us but at the end of the day they get our money anyway <laughs> it doesn't matter because the the parks, air, because yeah. they keep putting out cute merchandise like alex nani bracelets and spirit jerseys and stuff that i have a problem about and i have to buy so they're gonna get my money anyway disney don't worry. They're, they're still going to get my money. Freaking own everything. Of course they're going to get your money. They're going to get my money either way because they put out some really nice merchandise. Dang it. Yeah, stop stop putting stuff out that we want to buy. So uh, I guess we're going to wrap this one up. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to wrap this up. Uh, very interesting, uh, very interesting scenario. I just want to say that if Disney does watch this, because they probably will. Um, you know, all we're saying is stop. You know, start looking at things based on how good it is. And not by what's between people's legs. Because, quite frankly, that has nothing to do with how good something is. Dear Mr. Iger, stop looking between people's legs. Unless the pants they're wearing are really bad cut, then you can't avoid it. Dear Mr. Iger, <laughs> stop looking between people's legs unless the pants are cut really weird. And in that case, you can't avoid it. And that's okay. It's okay. Sometimes everybody stares saying, at packages. You know, there's, you know, innovation used to be a thing. Go back to that. And stop, you know, just stop basing everything on, you know, how much points and checkboxes you're going to get. You know, if, if you have a great idea from a woman, go with it. If you have a great idea from a man, go with it. Just go with good ideas that are movies people will actually want to see and you'll be fine. And start making sure that there's substance and good characters and all that's first. And you can shoehorn in all your little ideals, you know, second. Make There's something called subtlety. You can you know, go back to those days and, and put your put your things in there. That's okay. But focus on a good story, good characters first. And people will come. And you don't have to worry about the money. It'll be there. It'll be there. Just stop ju going by what's between people's legs and go by what's between people's ears. And you'll be good. Yeah, dear Disney, start making new stuff again. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so we're going to wrap this up. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I had to that in there. That's okay. So please subscribe to Clownfish TV for more pop culture news, views, and rants. This has been Neon and Geeky. Bye. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.